Hey YouTubers, this is Rant and Robin. And Digi Fox Cat. Hey, this is Rant and Robin. And Digi Fox Cat. And we're working on uh, ramen burgers, so we thought we'd show you guys a little bit of our process. Obviously, we are going to uh, skip ahead a few times so we don't have to sit there in live time watching us do everything. We just want to show you the basics of how we make a simple ramen burger uh, using the Maruchan uh, ramen noodle soup chicken flavor and uh, hamburger meat and uh, skillets, frying pans. Uh, so we get started, we're going to be putting the uh, noodle mix into the pan, much the way you would start it uh, if you're cooking it for yourself. Now, we are not doing our ramen burgers the traditional way, necessarily. We're going to be uh, using the ramen as a substitute for the uh, bun, and making them much like you would a regular uh, hamburger. Uh, so we're putting bacon into ours. Uh, we've got the Appleton Farms uh, sliced bacon, hardwood smoked uh, from Aldi's. Yeah. Alright, we have our 80% lean and 20% fat uh, ground beef patties again from Aldi's uh, that we're going to uh, uh, cook up. We are dumping the two burger patties onto the uh, skillet. They say it is actually better to not heat up the skillet until the burger patties are on it and then start it heating slowly rather than a shock to it. Uh, but bacon, of course, we have the fire on for the bacon. Uh, we're waiting for the pan to heat up so we can drop the bacon in onto the pan and get it going. All right, that Roman's gonna put down the bacon. I let him fire the bacon here. He's very good at it. Yep, what can I say? Typical man, I like my meat. Alright, now we are seasoning uh, with uh, black pepper, salt, and uh, something we have found that is actually very beneficial for the immune system is uh, ground turmeric. Mmm, bacon. It should be uh, ready to flip in a couple minutes, or less, a few seconds probably. Uh, we'll be ready to pull out the tongs and flip it. In fact, I'm going to check it right now while I'm filming. So we got to be careful. We don't want a problem with the film. Uh, not quite. It's getting there, though. Uh, so that our uh, ramen burgers aren't overly salty, we are just using one pack of the... Uh, ramen seasoning uh, inside the water uh, just to kind of give it the flavor uh, of, of it a little bit. Go ahead. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and flip the bacon. Uh, stand back as it is uh, kind of a dangerous process, especially when you're trying to do it like that. They're stuck together. Oh no. Yeah, we've got a pretty good start of a brown on that bacon. Uh, let's take a look at this one. I may have gotten over to the zealous in my amount of bacon that I tried to put together. But hey, it's all one piece. You can break it apart when it finishes cooking. Bacon! Looking good. This one hasn't quite browned up quite as nice as some of the others yet. But it should be soon. All right, our bacon looks about ready. I'm putting it in for a little bit of a closer shot for just a second. Looks about ready to go. So I'm going to flip that and put the next batch on. I won't bore you with showing you all those. All right, we're getting ready for the flip. As, yeah. you, can, as you can tell, they're getting uh, almost there. The yellow color you see is the turmeric. All right, the water's out of boil, so we're dropping in the uh, ramen cube. First one and the second one. Uh, each cube, sh each block of ramen should make about... Uh, uh, two buns, uh, so for each uh, burger. Well, it's in your because. We got this little firing pan today, and we thought it would be perfect to make our ramen noodles into our patty. Now, as you can tell from the size of Digi Fox Cat's hand, uh, this pan is uh, probably only four inches diameter uh, at most. 
It's a very small uh, pan. It's hard to tell because it looks like a one. We're going to use that to get the shape of the bun with the noodles. All right, the noodles have uh, been finished. We are going to drain the uh, meat juice off of them, but not rinse them so that they kind of retain some of the chicken flavor, but hopefully it's not too strong and overpowering. Mm. All right, every guy's favorite, a yummy pitcher of bacon. Uh, the bacon has just been finished. We have pulled it all out of the uh, frying pan. It is just now waiting to be assembled into the burgers when we finish the other parts. All right, we are putting the uh, noodles into the pan. We're gonna try to crisp them up on either side to kind of create a uh, uh, bun out of uh, ramen noodles. So uh, we will let you see it when we're ready to flip. All right, we're flipping it onto a plate to see if we can, if it's crisped up enough, to, and flip it back in. Ta-da! And see how it is kind of uh, browned, much like hash browns, and it seems to have clumped together, which is what we want. Hopefully, for it to create a crisp outside and a soft inside. All right, we'll let you know how it is when it's finished. All right, we're putting it onto a large plate. There we go. There is one bun. We're going to do three more of those. All right, so we got our rum patties here. And I'm going to start assembling my burger. I'm take one of our lovely patties. See, size difference <laughs> there. Um, it's a Bacon on it. And I'm going to put some mustard on mine. Because burgers are always good with mustard. Let's get some. Get some lettuce here. Tomato and some pickles. And there we go. Let's see if we can pick this up and put it on top. We we have a burger. Yep, it's a little different looking than you'd expect a regular burger too, because ramen is the bun, and uh, we'll uh, give our thoughts after we eat them. Overall, it was interesting. It's very uh, soft for a texture of a burger bun. Overall, I really also enjoyed the uh, burger too. It just is hard to keep it together. It tended to fall apart a lot.